Oh, okay, Jabba. Oh, wow, okay. Wow, holy, I was not expecting that. <laughs> there she goes. Oh, holy moly, girl. Wow, okay, okay, okay. Hey, I'm Dion, and I've been keeping reptiles since I was eight years old. And if you're new here, guess what? I make videos about how I keep these incredible animals, how I breed them, how I enrich their lives, how I set up terrariums for them, and more. I keep reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates. And today is a special kind of video that I do once in a while. Well, to be precise, once a month. It's called a silkworm feeding video. So if you're new here, stay tuned. You're about to watch tons of my pet reptiles eat. And it's gonna be awesome. So don't forget to subscribe down below and ding that little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Friends, why is it that we breed silkworms? If you're new here, you may not know, silkworms have arguably one of the highest levels of protein found in any feeder insect. I know that was really, really cringe. I apologize. Please just bear with me. Not only this, they contain magnesium, iron, really high levels of beneficial calcium and vitamin B groups. And the cool thing about them is that they contain an enzyme called serapeptase, which is known to reduce inflammation in the body, in the gut, and it actually helps with the cardiovascular system. So pretty cool stuff. Can't see why you wouldn't want to feed these animals to your animals. So in today's video, we're gonna do that. That's what we do. We, we do these monthly videos to show the benefit of the silkworm larvae as food for your pets. I also wanna make a quick point because I've noticed some people uh, are missing this. If you look in the video description, I actually have a list of every species that you'll see in these feeding videos and it gives a timestamp when you can see them. Not only this, of course, we have the labels that Matt kindly provides here in this video. Now, I know there are quite a few of my animals you haven't seen in a long time. I'm going to explain that very clearly in an upcoming video, so don't be alarmed that it's been so long that you've seen my garter snakes, the majority of my leaf turtles, my shinisaurus, there's a few more, but it'll all be explained soon. So stay tuned, and that was not supposed to rhyme, my bad. <laughs> All right, friends, here is Sunny and Sappy, my Tribulonotus gracilis, who have really become quite famous on Instagram lately, because I do this thing where I tap like this with my fingers, and usually they come running out. You've learned that it means food is ready. Uh, but of course they're not doing it now, making me look silly. But these are my red-eyed crocodile skinks. So, let's see if they would like to eat some silkworms. So it looks like Sonny's actually right there. He's gonna come out for us a bit. He's being quite shy about it. We'll leave it there. <laughs> yeah, he's so hit and miss with how shy he can be. It's funny. You feeling like having this? I mean, you don't have to eat if you don't want to. Seems like she's not hungry. Hmm. Maybe she's gonna lay soon or something. Kinda looks like she might lay soon. Why is she sitting in the water and not really interested in food? Or are you gonna eat? Like she can't really decide. Oh. Okay then. <laughs> Weirdo. Okay everybody. These are very special animals. These are a pair of my Tribulonotus novaginia. These are white-eyed crocodile skinks, and this enclosure houses a pair with two offspring, but these guys can also be bold. This is a clear passageway that they use, and there's a tunnel there that leads to a hiding spot. So I figured this might not be the worst area to offer them some food. Well done. If you look back here, one of my adults is, you kind of see them there. Let's, let's see if we can feed them. Are you too scared or will you come? Oh wow, okay. Wow, holy, I was not expecting that. Okay, 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 take it, sorry. They got it. This is why the white-eyed crocodile skinks are a lot of fun. They're usually quite bold. We have definitely got to try that again. Okay, white-eyed crocodile skinks. Okay, I can already see my females getting excited because she absolutely loves silkworms. These are my Anolis equestris 
Cordior, Blue Beauty Anoles. Ooh. There we go. Girl. <laughs> She's going nuts in the back there. Whoa, whoa, Tiki mode activated. Don't worry, we're gonna feed my mail too. Hey bud, how you doing? There it is. Mm -mm -mm. He loves it. Look at this really big one. I'm sure he'll love this. Come on, buddy. Here. That one's too good to be true. You want this. Oh, even my female wants it. Mmm. The female's going nuts. Yes, I know you want to eat this. Come on. He's just being like a shy guy. If I bring it closer, he'll just take it, but he doesn't want to. Whoa. Unbelievable. They eat these so fast. Oh, the silkworm's in trouble. Nice. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all what you think the hardest part about keeping pet reptiles, amphibians, or invertebrates might be. Be specific if you can, and we can learn from each other. Maybe it's advice you want to impart on the rest of the reptiliatus community. Maybe it's just a point you want to make about a difficulty you've had keeping these exceptionally fascinating animals. Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, I'll give your comment a heart, and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. My comment will be that I think these animals having very specific diets can be a little tricky to keep in rural areas. Imagine you live somewhere far off from a big city and you need to provide your animals with crickets or other types of feeder insects that are not readily available in your local area. That could be um, a test. I'm gonna leave the rest of you to figure out and share. Looking forward to your responses. Next up, we have my Phyllobates terabilis. Let's go ahead and offer these huge dart frogs some silkworms. Oh my goodness, I still can't get over this. Unbelievable what these animals can eat. Crazy, that, that's no dart. I mean, that's no, uh, that's no fruit fly. That's a silkworm, wild. So friends, this here is one of my Geomita Spengleri black-breasted leaf turtle enclosures. And the turtle that lives in here is Spike. It's just over here, you can kind of see him. So most of my leaf turtles are not eating this time of year because they are brew mating. So they're away asleep in a cold room. And again, this is something we'll touch on later, but Spike here did not get to go down and brew mate this year because I just got him and I felt a bit uneasy about his weight. And by that, I mean that he's pretty light. He's not necessarily a safe weight that I feel comfortable brewmating him because as you can imagine, the same way that a bear would go and stock up on fat, uh, you know, eat lots and lots of food to prepare for hibernation, these animals need to be a good weight before doing that. And if they're not, a winter dormancy might actually be a bad idea, so. There you go, buddy. All right, we'll let him uh, do his thing, but it is kind of nice seeing a leaf turtle. It's been a long time. All right, next we have a Ceratophrys cornuta, Suriname horn frog. Again, we do this. There you go. That's how we can make sure they eat. Gonna remove that substrate there. There we go. Good stuff. Next we have the infamous avocado. Boom, nice catch. Well done, well done. Man, I love this frog. They are so cool. Boop, nice. Good job, little buddy. Look at those swell mites. They're harmless, don't worry. You gonna swallow? Show us, close your eyes, do the, do the thing you do. There we go. Good job, little one. All right, guys, I don't know if you would believe me if I told you that I just changed this guy's water out two hours ago, and then here he is causing trouble. How you doing, buddy boy? You wanna eat some silkworms? 
All right, guys, you know the drill. Got a big one here. I'm gonna put it in the bird's nest here. Do something in there. Oh, he found something. Hey, good job, buddy boy. He's got a silkworm. Nice, nice, buddy. Want another one? Here. Nice. Good stuff. And of course, we have to put one in the ball. Gotta do the classics, right? There we go. What's in there? Did you find something, buddy? You got it. Good stuff, my friend. I think that's good enough. We got a few juicy silkworms. Also, guys, don't forget, those silkworms are like $1.20 each, so they're expensive. Thank you. Thank you, thank you to the patrons for for helping fund these feeding videos. All right, guys. Well, I'm here with little Pingu, and I think she's gonna wanna eat a silkworm here. All right, Goof, while you keep eating. Friends, we're gonna take a quick moment to sincerely thank my patrons over on the Patreon platform. And I'm, I'm gonna put Pingu away real quick here. If you're looking for a way that you can support Reptiliatus channel, beyond your viewership and comments. Sorry, there's a bunch of crazy noise down there because Basil's running around. Well, you can consider becoming a patron by following the link below in the video description. There, you'll unlock a whole slew of perks, a direct line of communication with me, and more. There's discounts on merch, cool chat groups in the community there, and every new paid patron gets an in-video shout out, which is kind of cool. You know, maybe you want to hear me uh, thank you in a video. And uh, yeah, and I do that. So in today's video, we're going to take a moment here to sincerely thank our newest patrons since last video, Dayton and Skotua. Thank you so much for becoming my newest channel patrons. I look forward to getting to know you better there on the platform. And then thank you so much for everyone else and considering your patronage there, or thank you so much for your support and viewership because that'll always be the most important thing. Well, let's get back to the video. Time to see if the Toke geckos want to eat some silkworms. Where are these geckos? Where's Torch? Hey girl, come on up. Choppity chop chop. Got a silkworm up here for you. Hi Torch. This way, come back. Come on over girl. Nice. Whoa. She's fast. What was that? Well, I came back later and well, 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 look who it is. It's Mr. Tiki. He's actually out this time. Hey, bud. I got a silkworm for you. Come on, Tiki. Come on, buddy. Hey, you better be looking at the right thing, Tiki. No, you're not. You're looking at my fingers, sir. <sighs> You got it. Mmm, tasty, bud. Gotta love that guy. Can you believe he'll be 10 in October? I've had him since he was a week old, and we did that birthday party for him. If you haven't seen it, the link's up above. Yeah, we literally threw him a crazy big birthday party in the heart of COVID. He's a wonderful animal. All right, guys, so here is... Sabzi, Varanus Prasinus, female green tree monitor lizard, and she loves her silkworms. Oh, she sensed that quickly. Oh boy, oh boy. It's been a while since she's had big ones. Hopefully she doesn't freak out too much. Ay! No! It's begun! I'm gonna need an apron. Holy moly, she is happy. Easy there, girl. Easy, easy. You don't want to make a mess? Oh gosh, ah, there's stuff flinging everywhere. Holy. All right, loading one into the ball. Hey, you want to check this out? Come on up. Have you found something you like in there, Sabzi? Oh, she's trying to get it. What'd you miss? Oh my gosh. Yikes, a roo. 
Uh, poor silks. Okay, there's nothing even in it yet. You're, you're getting ahead of yourself. I, I haven't put the worm in the nest yet, and you're already checking things out, Sabzi. It's empty. It's empty. Are you gonna, are you gonna let me feed you or what? She just knows. She knows that there's always food in there. And to be fair, Basil had just pulled the worm out, so she probably can smell that or sense it. Permission to take this back? Can I, can I have this? Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna put this up here. Drop the worm in the back a bit more. All right, here, you can have it back now. Yeah, she didn't waste any time, did she? <laughs> Uh, I love this lizard. Okay, well, there we go. Well done, Sabzi. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? You have made such a mess of yourself, Sabzi. Goodness gracious. That is like, that is a true testament to how messy you are when you eat silkworms. Okay, well, at least you're licking it off and stuff, but blech. Okie doke. Here's a Stenodactylus petrii female. See if she'll eat a silkworm. Gonna eat it or not? We know that there's always one of these that'll always take a silkworm. No sense of wasting time on the ones that don't, I guess. All right, so this is the quarantine bin that houses two females, one of which absolutely loves silkworms. You're about to see. There she goes. Oh, holy moly, girl. That is quite something. Certainly a very happy gecko. Yeah, the Petrii take pretty big prey. They don't shy away from food very much. Okie doke. That was pretty dang awesome. All right, here is Leela and here is Jabba, my Arlichianus. They just got misted, that's why they look all sparkly and glittery. Uh, but let's go ahead now and see if these two are interested in each eating a very, very large silkworm. Almost. Oh, there we go. She's gonna get it now. Oh. All right, Jabba, you want one? Hopefully he goes for it. Oh yeah, he wants that. Oh, okay, Jabba. Nice job, buddy boy. Yeah, those are some good sized silkworms. Glad you guys had a good meal. Look at the lovely couple. I'm sure they'll be busy dirtying their fresh water after this. <laughs> okay, next is the lovely Nona Fire Stripe. If we can get her to, here she is over here for a silkworm. Nona, come on, come on over, girl. Got it. Okay, everybody. Last but not least, my Cruzio Hyla Craspidopus fringe leaf frog. And we all know how much this animal loves to eat silkworms. How you doing? Do you like a silkworm? Be ready, be ready. He's the shaking means about to strike. Oh, he woke up now. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Goodness me. Okay, well, they seem quite content with that meal. I'll let you get back to doing whatever it was you were doing. You didn't look too happy about it, but you're healthy and that's all that matters. Well, that was awesome, everyone. I don't know, what do you think? Well, everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's silkworm feeding video. There are no shortage of awesome takedowns that come with these videos. And I hope you see the benefit of feeding these little tiny larvae that have the potential to become sky puppies, but never do after these feedings to your animals. So without further ado, I'm going to end it here. If you want to see more silkworm feeding videos, check out the playlist up above. Otherwise, I can't wait to see you all next week for an upcoming video. Hope you've been enjoying the YouTube shorts I've been posting. And I just want to say, I know I've been posting a lot of feeding videos lately, but we are working our way up to that two video a week thing. So Tuesdays will be different content. Stay tuned for that. It's coming soon. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye.